Okay, so the NFL wildcard weekend schedule is now out, so we can project who the 49ers might play in the divisional round, but we're probably going to have to wait quite a while until we know who the 49ers play in the divisional round. But let's take a quick look at this. First Saturday, it's all AFC on Saturday. First Browns, Texans, and then Dolphins, Chiefs. That's the marquee matchup. It's actually going to be on Peacock on the streaming service. Seems that that's going to generate Peacock some subscribers seeing Patrick Mahomes against Tua Tagovailoa on Saturday night. Then Sunday, the first game is an AFC game, Steelers-Bills on CBS, followed by the Packers-Cowboys. Now, that is something that pertains to the 49ers picture because if Green Bay, the seven seed, beats the two seed Cowboys, the 49ers will know then and there on Sunday evening that they are playing the Green Bay Packers. However, if the Cowboys win, the 49ers won't play the Cowboys because the 49ers play the lowest surviving seed. So if Dallas beats Green Bay, you move on to Sunday night. Sunday night is the Rams against the Lions. The Rams are the lower seeded team. So if the Rams beat the Lions, then it would be the Rams if, if the Packers didn't win the game before. However, if both of the favorites in the NFC win on Sunday, that's Dallas and Detroit, then the 49ers will have to wait until Monday night to know who they're playing. And Monday night is Eagles against the Bucks. The Eagles are favored against the Bucks, but the Eagles have completely collapsed here. So I'm not sure if I would really trust the Eagles going on the road to Tampa Bay. Either way, if Detroit and Dallas both win on Sunday, the 49ers will play the winner of Eagles Bucks on Monday night. And I would assume that the 49ers would then play their game in the divisional round on Sunday, and they would either way have a huge rest advantage over a team, an East Coast team, either Philadelphia or Tampa Bay that played on Monday night and would have to travel cross country to Levi Stadium. So there are several different permutations of how this could work. If you're just going by betting lines, the most likely 49ers opponent is the Eagles. Because if you assume that the favorites all win, that's Dallas, that's Detroit, and that's Philadelphia, it'd be 49ers and Eagles. And the Eagles are dealing with some serious injury issues now. And obviously, even when they were healthy, the 49ers were a lot better than them. But I will say that you sh probably shouldn't read too much into favorites and those kind of likelihoods right now because the playoffs always seem to give us curveballs and twists and turns this way and that. So I think the 49ers, it's just important to realize they have positioned themselves as well as they could have. And now they just get to sit on wildcard weekend rest, develop their massive rest advantage, and wait and see what happens in the rest of the NFC. So again, Sunday is when the NFC playoff picture starts. Dallas, Green Bay. Reminds me of those old Troy Aikman, Brett Favre games in the mid-1990s. Then it's going to be Rams-Lions with Matthew Stafford against Jared Goff, the former Ram. If either of those two underdogs wins... The Packers or the Rams, the 49ers will play Green Bay or L.A. It'd be a rematch of what we saw today at Levi Stadium. If the favorites win, well, you better tune in on Monday night. 49ers get the winner of Eagles and Bucks. But the road to the Super Bowl goes through Levi Stadium. And that's all that matters for the 49ers right now as they await their opponent in the divisional round.